Today is a day for Hatriot Mail, and I don't want to make you wait any longer for that. Between waving a Gadsden's flag from a highway overpass to drafting George Zimmerman for a 2016 run, a Patriot has little time for anything else. But when that annoying little dweeb, David Pakman, really pushes the liberal envelope beyond what a God-fearing teabagger can bear, there's Hatriot Mail, your brief respite from the unending deluge of liberal bias. So I want to just issue kind of a general uh, uh, warning. This, this week's Hatriot Mail does have some suggestive and, and mature language that may not be appropriate for children, although I don't really think too many children uh, watch or listen to this show. And what I want to point your attention to here is the frequency with which those who really hate our so-called agenda on this show and are presumably anti-gay write stuff that have the, the letters have very significant kind of homoerotic undertones. Just pay attention to that as we listen to this week's Hatriot Mail. Only a douchebag like you would try and make a singer racist because of a Confederate flag <laughs> and ignore the lyrics of crap music. You win the Moron Award, along with a two-foot-long cement dildo greased up and ready for your rear-end pleasure. Mm, yeah, I, I just never understand, Lewis, how the most anti-gay right-wing people seem to just have a, a, a predilection for for homoerotic language. It's very bizarre. That is certainly one of the more visually descriptive Hatriot males we've we've done. 